so in this video we are going to see how we can extend CDS entity view it means if there are any standard CDS view or CDS entity view how we can make a change or how we can add more functionality if we need to add a field or if we need to add some associations to the existing CDS view entity how we can do that so before going into technical stuff let's see what exactly this extend view entity means so we already know there was an uh, old CDS views as well which are DDIC views so for extending those DDIC views we always use extend view option and uh, the new thing which is uh, CDS view entity for that we have gotten another option which is extend view entity so this extend view entity is basically the replacement of extend view because SAP is now suggesting to use the new generation of entity views rather than the DDIC views okay so the very first thing is uh, there is no DDIC object change in the extend view entity and why is that because in the new entity view there is no sql view got generated there is no ddic object gets generated okay so there is no extension into this so when we extend ddic views it uh, it appends into the view if if we are appending a field if you are adding a field then it gets reflected into the view a DDIC object view so that will not be available into the new extend view entity then uh, uh, in the extend view the old method you have to add at least one field in the extension then only it it always works you can add the association but there is at least one field should be there which is not the case in the extend view entity which is a new one you can have a field added or if we do not need we it is not mandatory to add the field you can have only the associations available in the extension so another option here is or another point here is the entity extension doesn't have any header annotations so the extension entity which you will be creating for extending an existing view or existing view entity so that extension entity will not have kind of annotations available or there is no header annotations available okay it's a without annotation the another thing is an existing CDS view can have one or more CDS view entity extensions so multiple entity extensions can be created but once the extension is created that specific extension cannot be further extended or we cannot extend that entity extension which is created okay now the very important point is so there are two kind of view extensions so one is extended view and then extended view entity this is an old one for ddic and this one is used for the new one so both can be used to extend the ddic based view and entity views but sap is not suggesting this thing sap is suggesting if you are using a ddic based then use extend view to extend it if you are using entity based then use the extend view entity option to extend your views okay so the question is why it has been kept so it has been kept just for the backward compatibility and uh, for the migration purposes so 
a new field and associations can be added while extending the entity view so you can have the field extended as well you can extend with the associations you can add a new associations in the extension but uh, a new input parameter cannot be added while extending the entity view so only the field and associations are allowed but input parameters are not allowed while extending the existing entity view okay so these were some of the points which we should know before starting are uh, extending the existing view so let's see how we can extend a view okay so for that we will be creating we will not be this is just for a demo purpose so we will not be extending any standard one but we will be creating a custom one and then extending it so create a new and then other and then data definition so the package um, taking is dollar temp and the name is z underscore entity view ext entity view okay entity view for extension example click on next next and we will define a view entity here so select this and click on finish okay so we have got here a template generated now we will be using as always our s flight tables for uh, creating the view entity okay so we will be selecting data from spfli table and uh, we will be selecting all of the fields not all of the fields but we will be having connection id carrier id let's remove it then uh, so it's a key field so country from country to is gone airport from country to city to and let's remove all of these here okay and remove this so now activate so object got activated let's open data preview we got the details now let's add one association here to get some more data so association we will be applying to scarr table crr on dollar projection carrier id is equal to scarr dot carrier id okay so SPFLI. Okay, so now we have got the association here. Let's activate. Okay, what it is saying association is not used. So we will be adding it here key field this start carrier name i e r okay and uh, what else nothing so now let's run it once more and see the output so we got the carrier name here okay 
now what we are going to do is we will be extending this CDS view and adding some more fields and the associations both option we will be seeing so very first thing which needs to be checked is this annotation ABAP catalog view enhancement category so since this is a select statement here and uh, with this select statement we will be getting some projected data so we need to change this with projection list so whatever extension we are doing will be on this projection list okay let's activate and authorization let's make it not required activate so our CDS view is created entity view now we will be extending it so for extending we need to again follow the same options data definition next and uh, the package will again be temp and underscore extension extension view click on next next and here we will be selecting an option which says extend view entity so this is for a new CDS entity views and if you are using DDIC then you need to use this option okay so I will select this extend view entity and uh, click on finish so now here put the name of your entity which you want to extend okay so extend view entity and I want to extend this entity and we have also seen one point in our PPT that there is no header level extension header level annotations allowed so we do not see any annotations header level annotations before this keyword extend view entity okay so now what we need to do is we need to make a change in this extension and what we are going to do is we will be adding a new association here which is not available when we run this entity so if we see a data preview and follow association so there is no associations okay consider this CDS view as a standard one so now I am adding an association here association which is one dot dot star maybe and uh, two s flight well i g h t s flight table as underscore s flight okay and uh, on which field you want to add so that would go on to on dollar projection dot carrier id is equal to underscore as flight dot carrier id okay so we have added a new association and now we will be adding the association here which we have created and activate so now we have just extended our this cds view with a new association here okay now when you open this as a data preview click follow association and here you go now you see a new association available which is coming from the extension view click on this and you are getting the data okay now the second thing which we have seen is we can have extension for association we can also extend some fields as well to add some more fields along with these right what we can do is we will go here and we will just add new fields with SCARR table 
why we are using a CRR because we have an association here so we are using this table to extend the fields we want more fields from this table so I will write a CRR dot and we got the new fields currency code and uh, SCARR dot URL so these two more fields I want in the extension I have added these two fields and activate it got activated now if we go back and open with data preview here you go you see two new fields got added here currency code and the URL so this is how we can extend the entity view CDS entity view and uh, that's all for now in this video and if you like the content please consider subscribing to my channel thank you